Hello friends. So future perfect. Now we come to passive. As usually you know, what is passive is subject, object, change. You change the subject to the object place or object to the subject place. And also add B on form of B. In this case you can see, <coughs> see the painter, the painter will have painted <coughs> painted the wall. Now you know the wall is the object or NP2, you say NP2. And uh, the painter is subject or NB1. This is NB1 and this is NB2. NB1 and NB2 means noun phrase. Object will be always a noun. And also, or with the, for example, with the word and so on. A determiner plus noun, determiner, that is the articles. Uh, the, what, what we once upon a time used to call definite article. But now you call it the determiner, DET for short. And now the subject is also a noun and that is NB1. Alright, NB1, NB2. You have to change, interchange. NB2 will come here and NB1 will go here. And in between you have got a, uh, here you have got perfect and so you need to add a B. So, will have been painter. This will be the V3. V3 that is a passive participle, a form of B that is been here since this is perfect. So we are using been. If it is continuous, we will use being. And now the here we have got have and will. So will have been painted by and by here plus NB1. And here it is NB2. So if you rewrite it will be the wall will have been painted by the painter. Who else will paint this it? Full stop. So this will be the passive. So the difference you can see will is here, have is here. You have to insert B and then you use the past participle. So the only difference is in between you have to use one form of B and that is B because this is perfect. Is that clear? Yes. Alright, let's do another example then you will send. The teacher, the teacher will have, will have completed, completed the portions. Suppose you have a sentence like this. So this is NB2, it will come here, uh, the portions, the portions, then will have, had been completed, completed, sorry, completed by the teacher. So this is how we change the statements. If you know how to make, uh, change the statements in, from active to passive, all the other things will be easy for you. Why? Because you know, if you get a question, you can change that into a statement, and after that you can change it into a question again. But, alright. So let us do an yes or no question, and then things will become clear to you. Alright? Yes, very good. And so here it is. Will, will, will the shopkeeper Shopkeeper have sold sold all the goods. So you have got a double yes or no question. So what do you do? What is the passive of this? Passive will be for simple to simplify the sentence. You will say the shopkeeper, the shopkeeper uh, will have sold all the goods. So now this becomes a statement. It becomes easy now for you. Uh, so here we have got the NB2, all the goods, 
all the goods have will sorry will have been sold by the shopkeeper now you can take this in your state and the question bring it bring will here will all the goods have been sold by the shop keeper question mark see that so the answer will the shop keeper will the shop keeper have sold all the goods and the answer will be will all the goods have been sold by the shop will all the goods have been show, sold by the shop keeper okay so let's have one one more example so will will the farmer have cultivated cultivated all the lands uh, all he or cultivated all all uh, cultivated will the farmer have cultivated all the land okay all his land or all the land answer so simple simplify this make it a statement if without that if you can do that for example you can say will then this one all the all the will all the land have been have been cultivated cultivated by the farmer that will be question mark without going through this procedure so that is uh, will all the goods sorry all the goods will have been sold etc making the statement and so you can directly do it if you if you are uh, i mean see if you are so expert in that how are you going to become expert by doing exercises by repeatedly doing exercises one after another you will become someday perfect all right so that is about the uh, uh, yes or no questions now let's say about the wh questions how are you going to do that again okay. so what will have to say a question like this what will have what will what will sorry what will he have eaten eaten today all this what will what will he have eaten by now okay so that will be the question now what is the passive of this the passive is very simple uh what uh, what somebody else said what will he have eaten by now so we will say what by him by what will what will uh, what will uh, what will have been eaten by him by now so that will be the answer now if you want to see the different steps let's see this one make it a statement it will be he will have eaten what what so you know what we have said something okay so this will be np1 this will be np2 np2 something will have been eaten by him by now now this is something you write the appropriate question words and bring the question word here and what will what will have 
been eaten by him by now. So you can see uh, what will have been eaten by him by now. So that is what will have been eaten by him by now. Say what will he get? Or let's say another another example. Then it becomes easy. Another question where you have very often you get this question: Who will have taught you uh, language? Who will have taught you language? You have a question like this: Who will have, who will have taught you language? So in this now who? Say he, he will have taught you language. Now this is NP one, this is NP two. And so language will have been taught by him. By him is by whom? So question mark, question mark will bring here. By whom will language have been taught? By whom will language have been taught? Question mark. That is all. See. So when you, whenever I uh, say we, we have been doing the same thing, you know, in all the tenses, when you get a question mark, question, you will look, you will just look at it and say, oh, where the subject tells the object? Simply, you make it a statement, then you will get the subject and the object and then change it and also make changes, whatever changes required in the verb phrase. So NP1, BP, NP2, by NP2 is the that's the another one. Okay. How will how will he have done it? Okay, what will be the passive? Passive will be how will it have been done by you. And let's see how did you arrive at this. Okay? Question and answer. He will, how will he have done it? So, uh, he, this is the subject now, he will have done it how? So, then that will be, this is NB1, this is NB2. So we will say NB2, it will have been done by him. How? Question word has to come here. So how, sorry, how will, next first part of the word, it have been done by him. Question word. So this is the answer. How will it have been done by him? So how will it have been done by him? See. Okay? Yes. And we have to do one more. <coughs> but very often this is the problem area for students. See? How to change a double question into a passive voice. Let's do one with the how. So where? Or when? Or, or why? Why? Yes. Why will he have? Why will he have uh, thrown it? Thrown it away. Why will he have thrown it away? So the <coughs> answer will be why it will have being thrown away. 
That is it. So let's see the how do we come to this stage till we subject is he he will have thrown it away why okay then you will say this is mb1 this is mb2 so it will have been thrown away by and uh, thrown away why so question mark should come in the beginning why it will have been thrown away so this is the question why it will have been thrown away why it will have been thrown away clear now everything is clear all right so we will do an exercise tomorrow i will that things will become confirmed okay bye